so I almost knocked my whole setup <laughs> for some odd reason. Um, now I'm trying to fix it, but okay, there we go. I'm able to record now. So what's up, guys? It's been a while ever since I made a new podcast. So what's up? I hope everybody is having a really, really awesome time and having a really good new year, pretty much. So yeah. Hope you're having a great new year, but either way, um, so guys, I'm a couple of days, I would say like at least a week into my whole new endeavor, which was, um, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, get onto airplay mode so that I don't have to constantly like worry about my phone ringing. But, um, yeah, so I've been having a really good couple of days sort of experiencing and going through the whole switch for me no longer being on social media and it's been a really awesome awesome experience only because like um only because like I'm so happy that I did the work before which means pretty much like I don't really have any desire to be on social media like I don't have the urges I used to have before when I played cold turkey, <laughs> trying to get off Instagram when I did cold turkey. So this experience is definitely a lot different from before and just slowly taking certain things away over the years um, has really helped. So over the years, I'll do something like um, taking off comments on my whole post for like a whole year and see how I feel about that and sort of go through the withdrawal because I don't know about you guys but as you guys know social media actually triggers some sort of thing I forgot what it's called it's like a chemical in your brain pretty much that a lot that releases when you see photo when you see photos and you're on sorry I had to burp (laughs) when you see photos and when you just get approval from people, when you see comments, when you see like, I don't know if it's endorphins or something, I forgot, but like either way, search it up. That's what pretty much is the strength of social media, the the the, the need to be accepted. But either way, let's get into today's topic. I don't want to talk too much about that. Um, there's going to be a later time. I want to actually do like a month or like a month in to just share with you guys what happened and what I've been experiencing. And over time, I'm probably going to do a podcast either way. But today's topic, I want to talk about this very topic because it's very important to me. And I feel like a lot of film photographers need to sort of hear about, like hear what I have to say about it. And I also want to put into the universe. So today's topic I want to talk about is how what's it called? Like how digital has, I want to word this properly. I'm very, I'm very particular with how I word things. They have to sound a certain way. Um, about how film made me love digital more. That's pretty much that long story short. I can't think about that. I'm not about to like sit here and ponder because you guys know our podcasts are very natural and organic. So yeah, it's pretty much the topic on how film has actually made me realize how beautiful digital is and how much is so much better than film in its own ways. But we're going to touch on that right now so that I kind of get to explain. Uh, my choice of medium is still film for different reasons again. So I'll tell you guys why I'm still shooting film and why I'm probably going to also switch to digital and have a digital setup with my film setup. Um, so yeah, over ever since I started shooting film, one thing that has really changed my whole perspective on um, digital was that now film has taught me how to color grade. And that is huge. That is really, really huge. Because when you shoot film and you get a scan, you get a different set of colors or different color science, whatever you want to call it, different color um knowledge for some reason whenever you shoot film you just understand color a lot more so that's one of the things that made me realize that like I'm going to really use this to transition but obviously because I'm doing this organically I'm going to be all over the place that is actually not the main main reason why but I want to touch on that right now so the main reason why for me why I think digital is so so important and why I think it's better is because you 
are not buying film. It is the most practical thing ever created in terms of film photography up to date. There's nothing more practical than digital photography. Like, and the other thing is that film has shown me all the values because film allows you to slow down, but I feel like the process of shooting film is only supposed to show you the value of photography and I'll touch on that a little bit more. So the value of photography pretty much means like how important slowing down is and taking your time and looking at your composition and also not taking every single shot and having the realization that not every shot needs to be taken. It sort of gives you this notion, not necessarily notion, it gives you this truth about photography, which is that photography is very powerful and whatever you do choose to photograph has to have some sort of significant value because you are putting a value towards those photos which is buying film getting it scanned getting it developed all those other shit right so that's what makes that's what was the biggest thing for me because when you look at digital it literally takes away from that and i feel like our generation, the newer generation, has just had so much accessibility to cameras that we don't really see the value in photography as much as we would have if it was back in the day shooting film. And I know a lot of people would not be photographers today if it was back in the day based on uh, my assumptions on their work ethic and how often they they make photos or how they care about photos and all that type of stuff. So I think that's a big fact that we all could sort of agree on. But I feel like a lot of film photographers fail to understand. They have this notion that film is better. If we're putting one egg to, if we're comparing eggs, film is better. If we're, I, I know that's not a saying. If we're comparing film versus digital any older person that has shot film before will tell you 100% that digital is better. But the thing is why we love film younger photographers is that um, we love slowing down and we love the tangibleness and we love so many other things that I might not have mentioned. But I think primarily we just love how the results look from even the grain and the colors it has. And that's the biggest thing, right? Like nothing can ever create film grain or film colors. And that's why I'm still shooting film and I want it to be a part of my setup. And I still want to learn from film based off of that. Like the colors from any film negatives are so different. So, so different than the grain is so different. So, just me shooting film has helped me understand coloring a lot. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot more than I did before when I was just shooting digital. Before, I wanted things to be very perfect and I wasn't, I didn't care about how natural things looked and the value of having natural looking photos or natural looking colors. I didn't have that. I was just lower the contrast, bring up the color on this one, on this one color and shit. Like, I didn't care even about composition and stuff. Like, I, I wasn't even into composition like that. So, I guys, this this apple beside me tastes really good. I have to bite into it. Mmm. So good. This video is sponsored by Shop by Shingy and apples. And, yeah. I just wanted one bite and then we're going to continue. So yeah, so that's the biggest thing that film has taught me. And I feel like everybody sort of needs to see, not everybody, that is very strong words. I think a lot of people need to see the value in digital and appreciate digital because it truly is better. We're talking, have you ever edited? Well, obviously you probably have, but have you ever edited a raw negative before like not before after you've been shooting film for a while and never shot digital you will see the amount of 
power you have over an image. You've ne- you never even like sometimes I can't even edit my film photos, like retouch them heavily because I lose some of the grain and it will look inconsistent. But with digital, you're able to retouch and ha- retain information. And even Photoshop is even able to guess what type of content was was in place of certain content better because of the raw negative and the co- and the amount of detail it has and the amount of resolution it has. That's huge. You're able to make corrections in real time. That is huge. And that is why a lot of older photographers have switched to digital and not continue shooting film because they see the value in that. And I think they've already learned they already know the value of photography or the value of color grading and how they want the images to look. So it's easier for them to make that transition, but really see the value. They see the value. And I don't think a lot of us younger people don't see the value in it. So that's what's crazy about this. But you really need to shoot digital again to sort of see the value in it. Even when it comes to color grading, I didn't know how much power I have over color grading more than I do with film. The colors will never look like film. Well, not necessarily never, but they are not going to be on par with film. But I can get so much better in terms of like creativity. I have so much abilities to be creative and I can get the colors close to film depending on how I photograph. But like, this is what I'm saying that this is crazy, amazing. And you sort of need to appreciate digital so that you're able to even incorporate it in your packages. Oh, sorry. I'm having hella burps, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. But again, this shit is going to be hella organic. <laughs> but yeah, so like, it's just crazy. I, I just wanted to share that. Um, digital is important and it's necessary and you need to shoot a lot of digital as well and incorporate it into your um into your kits your camera bag because it is very good and you will get really good results really good prints and again another reason why i want to have it is because this is a new age um a lot of digital photos a lot of clients want digital photos so Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to get a digital media format uh, camera. But as you guys know, those are like 10,000 plus. But that's the idea that I want to get a digital camera like that or potentially even get like a film back for an RZ or a Hasselblad because they do have film backs, not digital backs for these film cameras. Um, So, yeah, specific film cameras, by the way. So... Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll just get a digital back or just get a a, a medium format digital camera because it's very important, guys, that we shoot digital as well as film. So um, with that being said, on my YouTube channel, I am going to be incorporating a some digital in the next coming years when I do pick up a digital camera that I like. Um, And my old camera was a Mark III, so my standards are pretty, pretty high. But first, I want to just build a kit with my film and I want to find myself with my film and this is what again why film is so important as well that it allows me to think on a more on a much higher level as a photographer and it makes me appreciate all these other things that I never really had appreciation for like being able to look at my photos in real time and being able to you know just do so much things like that you every that are very evident that digital provide but i never saw the value of them if i wasn't i I would have never seen the value in them if i wasn't shooting film um but yeah i wanted to share that if you really agree with what i'm saying or if you think it's really cool i think i want to start a blog on my on my what do you call it on my website my shop by shingy.com um where my portfolio is so i'm gonna start a blog where i would just post these podcasts as well i'll post them there and also add any other things i want to add to them maybe add my phone cameras or if i have like imagery i want to add to 
com- um, sort of complement the podcast a lot more. Um, so yeah, other than that, thank you guys for everybody that has been supporting me through this journey. If you're coming from my YouTube channel, please go hit the post notifications button because right now I'm having a hard time transferring everybody over and I really believe in this journey, but it's just proving to be very hard to make sure everybody sees them because I don't have Instagram anymore. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys again. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys like this party. It's the boy Shingy as usual. You already know what it is. Bye. Bye.